Let's talk today about optic atrophy. So in medical terms, atrophy is the term used when there is degeneration of an organ or deterioration. For example, there can be muscle atrophy, there can be brain atrophy, but when there's atrophy of the optic nerve, basically the nerve, which is an extension of the brain that goes to the eye, starts to degenerate or become thin. And so we can actually see this inside the eye, but we can also see it on a brain scan. When we look at the nerve in the eye socket, the nerve looks thinner than it normally should be. So it's a structural change that happens in the nerve, and also it looks different inside the eye. The nerve, when a nerve is atrophic, usually looks um, either uh, pale or the center part of the nerve can be enlarged, in which case we call it cupping. So there are different types of optic atrophy. There can be just pallor or there can be cupping as well. Now, the next question is what causes optic atrophy? Well, there's a whole range of different conditions that can cause optic atrophy. The most common is glaucoma that causes uh, cupping of the optic nerve, but also there can be atrophy from other conditions like lack of oxygen to the nerve, which is called ischemia. Um, also, inflammation of the optic nerve can leave the nerve atrophic. Swelling of the optic nerve, like papilledema, once the swelling resolves, if there's damage, it, the nerve can look atrophic. And then trauma is another reason for atrophy. For example, if someone's hit in the eye, there can be damage to the nerve, and then atrophy can develop six to eight weeks after.